Hello and welcome to my channel and I'm Tom and I wanted to show you this uh, Ryobi 18 volt 1 plus air compressor here I found just the other day <clears throat> and my old pancake was about to uh, to give out on me and so I thought well I need a new air compressor and so I started looking for them I never had seen one of these before and I didn't even know you could get them battery operated so I picked this one up and we're going to see how it's going to do because it's really lightweight, you know, so that'll be really great to uh, haul around in your camper, you know, because, you know, one of the main things you got to look for in the, in the camper, you know, is lightweight. And this thing here, I saw the weight on it somewhere just the other day. Yeah, 14 pounds. Right there, that's all the same way as 14 pounds. Now, of course, the batteries go out a little bit to it, of course. But, but uh, let's see if we can get it opened up and see what's in it. I hope there's a compressor in here that works good. <laughs> like I say, my old pancake's about to give out, and it's so heavy anyway. So, now this looked really neat sitting on the shelf the other day. Ah, I would stir a foam. <laughs> All right, now there it is. Pretty little thing, ain't it? Okay, now according to the box here, it's uh, 18 volts, weighs 14 pounds, maximum pressure 120 pounds uh, PSI. And it says it will operate finish nailers. So, I don't know. I used to run a finish nailer pretty fast. So, I don't know if they keep up with me with a finish nailer or not. It might, I guess, if you had a big enough battery. So, let's get the plastic off of it and look and see what it looks like. Okay, now the only thing you get in the box is this, the air compressor itself and, and this uh, little owner, owner's manual book here. And so you got your two gauges up front just like on a normal air compressor. That shows what's in the tank. That shows what you want to set your outlet at. And in the back here, this is where your battery goes. Right here is a nice little on and off switch. Now, speaking of batteries, now you can carry a battery like this with you, which just says lithium 18 volts. And that's all it is. Or this why I keep this why I carry in the camper with me all the time. This 3 8 uh, amp hours, and that's that's a pretty strong battery. It lasts quite a while. But now I'm sure this battery right here will, will uh, pump it up, I guess. Let's see. I'm going to turn it on. And we'll see how long it takes that to build up. Okay, now I'm talking about a minute and a half to build up that 120 pounds there. That's pretty quick. You know, that's not long at all. And that's with, uh, like I say, just a small 18 volt battery. So, I don't know if this one will do it any quicker or not, but it'll give you more running time. So, let me pull the plastic off these gauges here. <laughs> the whole cap comes off. Might have to get some glue for these. <laughs> a little better. Now this says lock and unlock so it looks like you turn it to the left to unlock. Now I don't know what that does because I still don't see any air over here. I might have to go back to the owner's manual here. So, we'll be back when we get it figured out. 
Okay now, further review of the book. <laughs> you know, all us fellows read the book. And so, further review of the book, it says, you know, when this is set at zero, which it was a few minutes ago, take and plug in your hose and then turn this valve uh, counterclockwise until you, no, turn it clockwise Okay, now I didn't stop the I didn't stop the camera that time because I purposely wanted you to see how long it's going to take it to build up. Now I've got a, I'm bound to have a little leak here somewhere in my hose. Yeah, right here it is because it's leaking down a little bit. You can see it going down here. But that's about all it takes, you know. Now, according to the book, the way you're supposed to break this thing in is put a 4 amp hour battery in there and just let it run for 30 minutes until or until the battery runs down, whichever one comes first. Well, uh, for one thing, I, there's no use of me running it that long because I don't want to run it over 30 minutes making too much racket and it's raining too bad outside to take it outside. Probably would have made the video out there. So anything, this is going to be perfect for what I need in my camper. Now as far as running an air nailer, putting up a finish nailer, you know, I know how quick I used to be with one. And I, it, it wouldn't keep up with me with an air nailer. Now if you're, if you're just real slow around the house or something like that and you're just putting up piece molding here, molding there, now this would be great. But put me outside on a fence or inside putting up crown mold or something like that. He'll never keep up. It, it would it would aggravate you to death. So anyway, that's about it for this little short video. And and I really like this little Ryobi 18 volt cordless air compressor. I mean, like I say, it's perfect for what I want for the for the travel trailer. And so lightweight. You don't have to worry, and I, want, I, have, I always have these batteries in there with me anyway for my impact wrench and stuff like that. And so it's, it's nothing, no extra, it's all 14 pounds extra weight in the cap is all it is. And so until next time, I hope y'all have a real good and safe day. And I hope you come back and see us real soon. And please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. We sure do need some subscribers. So until next time, goodbye now.